Leanne, you're gonna do a solo at the competition this weekend. Vivi was uncomfortable with the solo that we worked on, so we are gonna go ahead and do a piece that she already knows. Brooke's hip's been bothering her, so I decided to take her to a chiropractor. I really don't think that it's a good thing for her to be competing this weekend. We have to. <laughs> Why are you crying now? Coming up on Dance Moms. Since we're in Pittsburgh this weekend, I'm gonna give every single one of you a solo. Do you know Maddie's doing two solos? She has double the chance of winning. Maddie had a lot of practice, but not all of us have private lesson time slots. That hasn't happened to me in 25 years. It's humiliating. I am so fed up with the BS. Get out of here now. Let's go! Tyler is holding a national title! I will take it away in a minute! <laughs> Bitch! Let's talk about Starbound competition. Can we have a round of applause? <laughs> okay, so, Brooke, you blew them away. The people sitting around me were in awe when you did your handstand twist. <laughs> but why all the drama with the hip? Hmm? If you are seriously injured, you don't need to go to your mother and get everybody worked up. You come to me, and that needs to be clear, yes? Abby's comment about Brooke crying about her hip and complaining that it hurt, I thought was crazy. If Brooke's hurt, she should come to me. If she didn't complain about it, and we didn't put ice and stuff on it, she probably wouldn't have been able to perform the dance. I want to talk about this week's competition. This week's competition is on stage New York, right here in our hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is one competition where we cannot have anything go wrong. All of my peers will be here. All of my competitors will be here. All of my enemies will be here. Do you see there's somebody new on top? Yes, Brooke, you are here because of your performance. You worked through an injury. You did what you had to do. You were a team player. It feels good to be on top of the pyramid, but I don't really care. Like, it doesn't matter to me whether I'm on the bottom or the top. You are getting a solo this weekend. All right, Chloe, Maddie, you are also getting solos this weekend. The bottom row, what am I supposed to do with you for? You need to step it up. You need to get your butts back into class and start working on your technique. And you know what? Since we're in Pittsburgh this weekend, I'm gonna give every single one of you a solo. I wasn't clapping because I knew that we were going to have to do the bee dance. She has not mastered that solo yet. And I know that Vivi is very uncomfortable with new choreography. Moms, it's going to be a busy week. I expect them to be amazing. Do you understand? Yes, sit up straight. Ladies, let's go. Competing locally in Pittsburgh is always important. It's a big deal because my name and my reputation are on the line. So we have a lot of work to do. It's like you're dancing out of control a little bit. You need to bring it down. Yes? And if everything's big, then nothing's big. This week, each girl has the solo to perform. Solos are very difficult because there's nobody to hide behind out there on stage. It's all about you. I love solo work. I love the one-on-one -on -one work with the student. I think every child grows from doing a solo. Watch that land in that heel on that jeté. This week, Maddie is doing two solos. One to the music Cry, which she competed several weeks ago, and the other is a new top routine. I love having a solo, and I think I do the best when I'm dancing alone. I'm gonna put the music on, and I wanna just see you do it, okay? Stick your butt out. Push hard. Kick it up. Get it up. I am not happy with Vivi doing this bumblebee dance this week. So being a dance teacher, I just kind of took it upon myself to say, hey, you know, let's get together in a little room and let's rehearse the dance. But she doesn't want to jump onto a new dance. Come here. <laughs> don't be mad at me. Do the do What? Can I do the dance? All right, don't, don't be upset. Don't be upset. OK, don't be upset. All right, let's do it again. Up through your shoulders. Or turn on in the passe. Easy. Do that again. Stand up. 
Paige's solo is primarily jazz with a few gymnastic tumbling passes. Those are good feet, good. This is my first time doing a solo and I'm really scared because I'm gonna be out on stage all by myself. Get in four starch, good girl. It's scarier when you're alone because if you mess up on stage, you don't really have anyone to look at or anything. Front foot on that jeté. Point the feet, ankles together, posture. Ice tea, no lemon. And this one, a regular type of tea. is a place that we can go and just kind of get out of that dance jail. This time, we invited Kathy to come along because she's new to the group and we wanted to feel like, you know, we were including her in things. So what'd you guys think of the competition this weekend? It was far away, too far yeah. away. I mean, we sat there, at I least we got to go home. You're right, I did. All right, guys, we will what? see you later. Are you leaving? Yes, oh, we need oh, to We all came yeah. early to watch her. Fair. Well, you know what? This is how I feel about that, ladies. We're in this for a different reason, and we don't need to have a cheering section. And we probably will be leaving at the competitions. I'm sorry. That's upsetting for us because I think we all care about the kids and yeah. those dancers. And, and, and I, and I, wallet I and you don't want us to be cheerleaders. That's fine, but I like supporting the other kids. When you say I like that, that's your like. It's not my like. I don't want to be a part of the team. I don't want to have to be a cheerleader. When Vivi's done dancing, I want to go home and go about my business. You know, I'm looking at the clock when I'm sitting there and I'm thinking of all of the things that I could be doing, shopping even. This is just not working well with me. I like you guys, but I don't want to be your cheerleaders. Oh my God, are you driving? Contestant number blank, Brooke. Brooke is sticking to her forte. She will be doing a contortion acrobatic routine. Oh, straight knee front. Breathe. I like to dance, but I like to hang out with my friends more and boys. <laughs> Nia, what's going on with your legs? Oh, yes, I'm brutally honest. I have to be. That leg, yes, do it again. That final product on stage is what all the hours of training are about. This is my job. This is what I do. I don't know why you're leaning in your heels, but go ahead. Zabby pushes us to work harder every single day that we see her. Why are you so sloppy? Why is that foot banging on the ground? Come on. Well, she always helps me because with her reminding me to point and straighten my leg, one day I'm going to be a star like that. Jump! Smile, bigger, wiggle, move to the back. Come on, think. People think I'm tough, they think I'm mean, but I worry about these kids like they're my own children. What are you doing? What? You forgot? But you have to keep going, you can't just quit dancing. All right, start again. Suck it up, I don't want to see those tears. I love dancing, but I don't want to go on Broadway. All I want to do is just stay home and eat chips. Back leg higher. Turn it out. Slow down. You know, I appreciate all of the camaraderie and everything, but I'm going to tell you point blank. I think the difference is, and this is probably going to offend you, Christy, but I think the difference is that I am Abby's colleague, no matter how you slice and dice it. I'm her colleague. You are a dance mom. I'm fine with Kathy's feelings and how she feels about our studio and the moms. I think she's really a sweet person, and she was just being honest. And Abby's making a ton of money off of me, ladies. She's making a ton of money off well, of all of she us. Might, she's probably making a lot more off of me because I'm probably getting charged double. I think Kathy's crazy. After the things she said tonight, she needs to take her butt back to Ohio where she came from. We're just on a different, we're just on a different page, Vivi and I. We're part of the group, but we're not part of the group. I have to be true to myself and I have to be true to the people that I'm around. You either like me or you don't like me, I guess. And I don't really care if these moms like me or not. I like all of you, but we're not in it for all of that cheerleading. I love your necklace.
have a new solo this week, and it's called Mother. You okay, honey? I think my biggest competition is probably Maddie because she's a very good dancer. People have told me that I'm a good dancer. Shouldering, shouldering, more a come on. Maddie gets two solos because she takes a standing private lesson in tap all year from September to June, once a week. And there's where she learns her tap routine. Then her other solo is just like all the other kids. More eye contact with the judges. Get in their face, Maddie. Um, I'll go look for another bow for you. Did you know Maddie's doing two solos? No. Melissa's just sat here and said that Maddie is doing two solos this weekend. And whose idea was that, hers or Abby's? They probably got together over, you know, lunch and talked about it. No one has a chance in hell of winning against Maddie. She's doing two solos. She has double the chance of winning against anyone else. I can't even get rehearsal time for one. You know, I haven't even heard my kids' music yet. How do you practice your dance without music? Well, Melissa's in charge of music. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Yeah. She always finds a way to, like, get an edge. Always. It's solos week. Everybody should have one solo. I am so aggravated. Hi, girl. Hello. Everybody was mad because I wasn't on the uh, the bus. And I, I mean, I'm fine with it. My daughters just like to be with their friends. Hey, Vivi. I need you for rehearsal. Let's go, sweetheart. I went into the den to see who was next for rehearsal, and there was Vivian. No mom. I would so love for us to do something. You would love my girlfriend. Yeah. Come on over here. Last week, Kathy went behind my back. She let Vivi do an old routine that she had known. That's not the point. That's not how we're learning to pick up quickly. So this week, I made sure I pulled that kid out of the dressing room. I put that Bumblebee costume on her. I had her run that routine over and over and over so that that mother could not change it. Oh, that fits you beautifully. I don't like makeup and costumes. I'll let you get back to work. Okay, thank right. you. Bye. Chasse saute. Point those feet. Oh, what do we have on? Point, point, point. If she is insistent that Vivi have to do this bumblebee dance, I will certainly reimburse her for her time, and we may not even be at the competition. So, do you want to see? I would love to see. It's your time to show mom that you can do this. She doesn't have any faith in you. Kathy underestimates Vivienne. She does not push her. I think owning a studio, she does not want it to be all about her daughter. She does not want to lose customers. But in the process, the child isn't where she should be, technically. And that's why she's bringing her to me, and that's my job, and that's what I'm going to do. She just needs to butt out. Good girl. Oh, ye of little faith. The situation with Kathy is very bizarre. Kathy really wants nothing to do with the ALDC team. She really doesn't. I need you to be a role model. You're a dance teacher. You know how important it is to get these mothers Abby, to do. Abby, I cannot ride a bus if this is where this is going. The attitude that I'm too good for the bus? No, that has to stop. I can't do these field trips. I'm sorry. But that's part of the team. You want right. her to be with you. Then let her go by herself. OK. That's fine. OK. Vivi comes with me. Uh, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 we're not going to do that either. I don't like not being in control. I'm being told what I have to do, where I have to go, and this is just not sitting well with me. But we want to arrive together as a team. Why do we have we to wanna... do that? Are we the part of the Olympics? Kathy, why are you here? I'm he You're I'm here to be part of the Abby Lee Dance Company, but you don't want to play the game. I know, I don't. This is how I feel, Abby. A should be focused on themselves, and we'll be focused on ourselves. I know, but that's selfish, and I'm not trying to raise selfish children. We live in America. I feel like I'm in jail, that I have to jump on a bus and ride with everybody like I'm an elementary student. I set my rules. If you don't like them, go somewhere else. I don't care. We're doing your solo this week. I'm very pleased with what I saw. The costume okay. isn't well, as hideous as I thought it was. Sorry. Why would you say that to me? Why sorry. would I create a hideous sorry. costume? Sorry, I'm sorry. OK, I got to go. So you, so we're going to get the address to, to meet you at the um, venue this weekend, and all You're is You're going to go look up the address. OK. And you will meet me. Go ahead, you guys can start eating. I know everybody's starving. Yeah. I decided to have all the moms over for lunch because 
I thought that it was important that we kind of come together as a group and talk about Kathy and sort of what her intentions were at our studio. All right, girls, now I asked you to come over here because I think we need to talk about Kathy. If she's going to benefit from being a member of the team, then she needs to get her ass on the bus. She needs to stay and support my kid at 9 o'clock at night. All the kids. If we have to abide by Abby's rules, everyone has to abide by Abby's rules. Because if you start making exceptions to the rules, then why that, have rules? Exactly. Well, yeah. I understood the concern of the other mothers. I kind of feel caught in the middle because I really like Kathy a lot. I guess and the other issue is to level the playing field, would you be willing to pull one of Maddie's solos? Well, I don't know about that. I have to talk to Abby about that. Christy asked me to pull one of Maddie's solos. I thought it was very inappropriate. Maddie gets two solos because she has a tap private, so she has a tap solo every year. And then Abby just gives her an extra solo. I don't see why it wouldn't be fair for my daughter to do two solos. I don't think I would do that, because I don't think you guys would do that. I did do it. I did it this year. Yes, I did. I did it at DEA. I could have had Chloe compete, and I didn't. Because, because Paige and Nia deserved a chance to shine. I have to think about that. I have to talk to my daughter about that. What would be your reasons for not doing it? Because I'm not going to hurt my daughter. Maddie, by far, is one of the strongest dancers. There's no question about that. There's no need for her to have two solos to prove that she's a really strong dancer. We know that. If you looked at it from our perspective, you would be upset if Chloe were doing two solos and Maddie only had a chance to do one. I would not. If another mom had their child in two solos, I would never go to that mom and ask them to pull one of their daughter's solos. It's really none of my business what their daughter is doing. I have to worry about my children, not their children. I'm coming very cutthroat, and I don't think it needs to be that way. I don't want to discuss it. one day left to get all these numbers together for on stage. The girls are ready. I have complete faith in them. I would never send them out on stage if they weren't ready. Hello, how are you? How are you? Ready for another day. I'm cutting your music. Dance is so expensive, so I do work for Abby at the studio. I do the costumes, the music. I work at the desk. Hi, girls. Hello. I have your music, but pages I can't seem to get. Music. Where's my music? Music's always getting lost at the studio. Because, I mean, I don't even have music yet. Every day this week, I checked in to see if Paige's music was cut. It was the night before the competition, and Paige still hadn't heard her music. All right, well, if Abby comes out at all, can you just tell her that I need to talk to her? Yes. Go. Good, Nick. Push. When we don't have music to rehearse to, we have to use counts like five, six, seven, eight. But it's not as fun when we don't have music. Now we're doing the acro? Yes. yes, can you believe it? We are supposed to be competing new solos, and she needs to get these kids who are dancing this weekend to rehearse their solo. It's 7.30. I know, it's the night before our competition. Ooh, that was scary, Kennedy. Straighten your legs. I'm in the middle of teaching an acrobatic class. The mothers were not confident in their children, which saddens me. I have more faith in their kid than they do. They want that kid to practice, practice, practice on their solos that they're gonna get on stage and do for two minutes and 30 seconds instead of learning how to dance. Then they could learn a combination like that and get on stage and perform it. So obviously she's not gonna perform very well when she's the youngest age in the category and she has no music. And she hasn't had any super secret privates. Exactly. I absolutely think that Maddie got more time than anybody. She got those extra rehearsal times in there. I work really hard, and that sometimes makes me tired, but that doesn't stop me from dancing. When are we going to start running dances? Let's get started. Get that weight into your left shoulder. I think everybody's ready to do their solos. Paige does not have her music, but her solo looks great. You know what, guys? This is ridiculous. I'm going down and getting Paige and telling her to run her solo with Emma. I mean, otherwise Good, I might as well go Good, and then pull Brooke in after, and then put me in, and then I'll I'll bring up the rear. I like that attitude. Ridiculous. Melissa, can I have Paige's music? It's downloading. It's been downloading for 14 minutes. I mean, Paige is 10. She needs to run her dance to her music. And it was Friday night, 8 o'clock, and I still had no music for Paige, and we were competing the next morning. This wireless is so slow. Still three minutes. God. Everything is always so last minute. 
She teach an acro? I don't know. And since when do we do a five-hour acro class? The night before a competition. competition. Hiding in there doing an acro class. Who's hiding? Abby, because she knows that our kids need to rehearse. Like, my daughter rehearsed with her private today with Matt. But at so least you got to rehearse. Well, I have a standing private every week. So, I'm still waiting for Paige's music. You guys don't realize what I do for your kids. I mean, I work, that, you no know. No one's saying you don't do for the kids, but we also know that there are things that our kids don't benefit from either. Just, I mean, just throwing the cards on the table. Typically, yeah. when there's a conflict or a confrontation, Melissa has a tendency to deflect. Melissa always has something else that she's willing to talk about that's not the topic that she want to talk about. And when we go to competitions, Gianna's like your own personal helper. Like, but she would do anything for any of the kids because she, she loves our girls. She only does it for Maddie. The point is, is we need our kids out of that room and in B running their dances. This <sighs> I just feel that the moms don't like me because my daughter is a great dancer and they kind of hold that against me. They don't realize what I do behind the scenes. If they didn't have me at the studio, things wouldn't get done. It's just how they are. They're just little bitches. Our CDs are ready. I'm so sick of this. I'm sick of them saying, oh, it's all about Maddie, it's all about Maddie. What's, what's, Maddie's what? in class. They all want to learn their solos. No. I work my ass off for these mothers, and all they do is bitch at me. This is it for well, me. Well, I'm sick of them. These mothers are going to be the death of me. I run their daughter's numbers between classes. They just need to trust me and let me do my job. Are they going to be able to continue running their solos with you, Abby? Maddie had a half hour private with Matt Saffron, the top teacher today. Chloe came in today. Emma worked with her. But she's learning a whole new dance. Like All the moms are like in a tizzy because they don't have their solo rehearsal time. They don't have the right solo music. Like, Chloe learned a new routine. And her mother's, oh my god, she's the only one that has a new routine, new routine, BS. There's no way that because she ran it twice to new music that she's going to be able to compete on Saturday. I'm worried about that. Everybody in town is going to this particular competition. So I want my best foot forward. They need to have faith in their daughters and faith in my training. I didn't just fall off the turnip truck, you know. I've been doing this for 25 years. Is this preparation for an audition? Yes. Is this good for all of them? Absolutely. All right. Still not rehearsing. Competition day, and now going to a local competition called On Stage New York. Where's Ken? Hi, Brookie. These are important because the more of a new local competition Abby's kids win, the better for her because she might get more kids from this. Come on, get a seat. The judges of On Stage New York are top. They are going to be looking at choreography, technique, precision, performance, and then costume. I think all of us moms are in agreement that we are not prepared for this competition. Maddie had a lot of practice because she has scheduled privates every week, but not all of us have private lesson time slots. Nia? Here. Mackenzie? Here. Maddie? Here. Vivian? Not here. The mothers want me to be part of the team by riding with them on the bus. I'm sorry, I guess I'm gonna have to be a rebel on this one. I don't ride the buses. Here we go, girls. Hold your breath. Arms up. Break a leg. Please make me proud out there. All righty? Really pissed. This competition was set up from the get-go, that it, it wasn't going to be a fair fight. Abby entering Maddie's two solos in the competition this week makes perfect sense to me. Abby keeps saying we're in her own backyard. She has a reputation to protect. She wants everybody to do well. Abby only cares if Maddie does well, because if Maddie wins the overalls, Abby looks good. I don't see why it wouldn't be fair for my daughter to do two solos. And it's really none of the other mom's business what my daughter is doing.
got big black boots, a laser to there, just tattoos, a slick back hair. You dance with all the rock and belly cats. You know, pretty baby, I like it like that. So come on over so I can see. What I'm best at is tap and lyrical. And I've won a lot of awards for my solos that are tap and lyrical. And this is my first year doing a lyrical dance. And last year I did a jazz dance, but I never went for a title for that. I was very impressed with Maddie. Her taps were clear as a bell. Beautiful performance. The next up, we have an advanced prep acro gymnastics solo. Please welcome Mackenzie with his dance. <laughs> I'm a mouse. I have a really long tail, and it gets in the way sometimes when I do some tricks. forever. I love it. Everyone was clapping for you. I know, I heard. Vivi's solo is coming up, and I'm extremely nervous. I want to see her do a good job, and I'm also excited for her because she looks as adorable as a honeybee can possibly look. Say hello to the with bumblebee. Tastes so sweet from head to feet. No, that's something that can't be beat. No word of a last don't even try Ain't no honey sweeter than my honey bee I can't you see Choreographically, I challenged Vivian. I taught her new steps, new acrobatic tricks that really jacked up the level of difficulty in the routine. Ain't no honey sweeter than my honey bee There ain't no honey sweeter than my honey bee You fell, you slipped. Well, I don't know, honey. I'm not, I'm not pleased with what you did. You know that? And I don't think that Abby's going to be either. So we're going to have to practice. We're going to have to go back. Listen, look at me when I'm talking to you. We're going to have to go back home, go back to the dance studio and practice. And we're not here practicing. We're going to have to go back home. My mom wants me to dance even more than I want to. But you know what? We'll get it, OK? We'll get it. Mm, I love my mom a lot. And I like to dance because it makes my mom happy. Let's go change. All right. It's been really difficult for me feeling that we're truly a part of this Abby Lee experience, because no matter how I try to fit in, I'm not part of their history. on the stage where I was supposed to turn and my neck got stuck on the tape and it like gave me a big brush burn. So I have scars all over my chin. I was really nervous about Brooke going on and her hip being hurt. I wasn't sure how well she'd be able to perform, but she did great and she pulled it off. And, you know, I was nervous, but she knew what she was doing. 
no one has just learned to solo, and I am not feeling great about this performance at all. And I worry that she's going to freeze on stage. Please welcome Nia with You Do. <laughs> for my solo because in the past few weeks I've really improved a lot. <laughs> I forgot part of my solo on stage so I kind of made up the rest of it. <laughs> When I'm backstage, I'm really nervous because I'm scared I'm gonna forget my dance before I go on. And it makes me forget it more if I really get rushed up about it. For Paige to learn a solo and perform it in two days, that makes me nervous for her. But hopefully she just goes out there and uses her personality and charms the judges. Five years. I was sick to my stomach. It's humiliating. I was sick to my stomach. That hasn't happened to me in 25 years. She was like a deer in the headlights. It's humiliating. Give her a nice round of applause. Make her feel very comfortable. There's no excuse. You should remain on stage and continue dancing. <laughs> it was humiliating for me as a teacher, number one. And number two, she should be humiliated. <laughs> Beautiful for what you did do. I know I did. Yes, you did. I even made my tuck. <laughs> you were perfect. Don't worry about it, Paige. It's a dance. Who cares? So what is my soul? I know, but it's not your fault that it was messed up. <laughs> right? Don't you agree with me? You got your music last night at what, 8.30? and went home and went to bed and were expected to rush in here and compete it. Do you want to go home? No, we can't go home. Don't cry, Paige. pressure on me because I want to win the same thing as Chloe and maybe even more. Okay, Maddie's on in three. Ken's, come on, we gotta go see your sister. I am so fed up with the BS. Melissa needs to pull Maddie's second solo. It's not fair. Melissa! Melissa! Yeah? <laughs> I, I guess she's letting her dance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's doing a second 
And I called her and she ignored me. No one has a chance in hell of winning against Maddie. She has two solos. She already has twice as good of a chance as anyone else. I'm kind of nervous. I have to make sure I'm on the right timing for my music. And there's a lot of pressure on me because I really want to win first. Next up, please welcome Maddie with Cry. Who's so well versed? It's feeling so damn empty. Is that a loss for words? solos in for Maddie. Maddie does two solos at every single competition we go to, and she has for the last two years. Right before I go on stage, I get a little bit nervous, so I do my nutcrackle, and, but I just go through the dance really quick, and then I just and go on stage. Next up, judges, we have an advanced mini lyrical solo. Please welcome Chloe with Mother. It's always all about her daughter and no one else. Our kids count too. Good job, honey. I really don't care what Christy thinks. She would do anything for her daughter to win. I don't do anything for my daughter to win. My daughter wins on her own. All right, now it's time to announce our overalls for our advanced mini soloists. I will announce the top 10 highest scoring advanced mini solo entries that we have seen today. Here are our top four. I don't like to lose, but I don't ever lose anyway. And our first place overall top scoring advanced mini soloist receiving a $75 check and the trophy is a cry. That's Maddie from Abbey Dance Company. Congratulations. Huge round of applause for our top scores. Let's give a big round of applause. Undefeated. Aren't you happy? Congratulations, you guys take that big wacky bow. Whatever. You know what? She is not going to ruin this day. Good. This is not fair. Chloe was learning a dance 12 hours ago in a studio, and you expect a nine-year-old to go on stage and, like, be flawless? Our kids were set up to fail. I'm done. I don't want to say anything else. All right, let's go. Abby, I think we need to talk. No, you're not going to ruin this day. No, we no, need to no. talk, Abby, in the hallway now. Are you kidding? I'm a paying client, and you won't speak to me. No, nothing's worth that much money. I think the worst thing that Christy can do is talk about me when her daughter is present. I cannot get Chloe to trust me if her mother doesn't trust me herself. I'm so excited for you, because she got no, the best award. We don't want to ruin the weighted victory. <laughs> I'm not ruining no, today. No, Abby, what, what, we need to go in the here? hallway. Don't be doing this why in front of my scary? daughter, Chris. Abby, we can all go in the hallway, because I tried to talk to you, and I tried I'm to talk to you personally. Yes, let's go why in the hallway. I'm not going anywhere. Just one. My daughter's happy. Let's go in the hallway. Do you want to talk about all the things that need to be talked about? Not here, because not now. This is you the weekend. Because you won't talk about it, and you won't talk about it. I won't ever talk to you again. Abby, I'm not talking about it because my daughter cries, so shut up. Talk about what? How many times does my daughter your daughter this year. My, my weight was stacked against everybody. 
Germany this weekend because you did it. Get out of here now. Let's go. Bitch. Let's go. Either your kids feel bad, but it doesn't matter that my daughter feels bad. Your daughter is holding a national title, and I will take it away in a minute. Go ahead and take it away, Abby. I will. I'll leave your studio. That's fine. Where are you going to go? I would say the fight between Abby and Chrissy was incredibly embarrassing. That could have been handled behind closed doors, definitely not in front of children. Even when there are issues, I try to limit the things that I'm saying in front of the kids because it makes them feel bad. It makes them feel self-conscious and awkward. No, come with me. Girls, they are staying with me. You are an uneducated mess. Quit drinking. I'm not going on a bus. The f Don't bitch. Cry. Don't cry. I'm telling you. Give me a phone. No, she didn't. You do her. are out of control. I'm the a for staying in your studio. There you go. Then I need to leave. You're done. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.